Hi, so this is a demonstration of how to duplicate XP pots from one character to another. So I'm going to make a new character. What's this or doing skip here? the tutorial. Make sure that they're the same. Like, don't do a hardcore to a non hardcore across that, that one. Okay, so we're going to. This is slot, the fifth slot, which is slot, save four. So it starts one, zero, one, two, three, four. All right, and open it up just to get the, the save going. All right, so we've got all the stuff. We're gonna use the survivor bag. We've got the experience pots. You don't have to do this part, but it's just a little, a little faster ultimately if you want to build up like a whole bunch of them. But, and honestly, this can ruin your time for doing other stuff, like the game. You'll ruin your your game experience. I wouldn't do it. So, copy these, paste them. So you want to back up your files for those saves. Your profile keeps the character information. The saves keep the current world state. So, we're gonna, we're gonna run the game, and then we're going to load up the new character. We're going to sell the pots to Ace. Then we're going to exit the game. And we're going to rename save four to save zero. So we're gonna we're gonna take the save state that has the new that has the new progress with with the store that has what we want in it, and we're gonna transcribe it over to the proper character slot. And that will give that character a shop that has those items. Then that saves onto the profile that the character now, after you purchase the pots, that they have the pots. And then you replace your save file back and it returns your current game progress. So everything that the character has achieved remains, but the current save states and shops and the state of Ward 13 is returned. Hey that way you don't friend. lose anything. Name's Reginald. If you're looking for more, oh, so, don't. Man, we'll sell the pots. It's not easy keeping. Yes. Give a but hey, you're the hero. Oh. Take care, friend. Yeah, I, I think you can actually sell them to Reggie or Ace. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Told them I couldn't. I'm only sorry. We're both gone. But hey. Yes, yes. All right. So, we sold the pot. Later. Now we're going to exit the game. Now we're going to delete save zero. So remember, we have a backup. And hit F2 and it is now saved zero and we're going to pop the game open exiting the game made a save so and the reason you back up both is that instead of having to make a new save Retranscribe the file again. Over and over. So now we're going to open this one. And it went from like nine hours of playtime to like a minute and 45 seconds. So you can see how it, it switched. So now I have the state. But you see, the character has all the stuff, and I have some money on me, and it's 
cetera, et cetera. Hey, traveler. And there they are. Now we purchase Till next time. Exit the application. Take these. If you want to return back to t the total original state, just go ahead and right there. Your new character will not have... Oh, the proper way is that you back up the, the, the slot that has the... So, like, save four previously had the, had the shop... That's what you want to back up. Don't back up the, the, the save file before selling because the character will no longer have it. Back up the save file so that it sh saves the shop state. So you would back up save for after selling. And then you could just swap back and forth for the files after buying the new pots. But this is just going to return us back to zero. And we'll pop it open again. And you see, I have my playtime back. And that's it, though. But when I go in, she will have three more experience pots. So instead of six, instead of three, she has six. That's it.